Hi Capricorn, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continue subby, you know I love you for it. Um, with that said, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your um before we get into that please don't forget to check out my kickstarter you can do so in the link in the description box below if you want to bag yourself a reading at a great price if you want to get one of my calendars uh for the year new moon full moon or tarot uh, and um also if you would like to study tarot in the new year with me for 12 weeks no less uh, you can hit the link in the description box below so for your key to the week you have the justice card what are you waiting on Capricorn? What is it that you are waiting on? It looks like a lot of you could be signing on the dotted line this week. This is where you are getting that contract. It's where you are getting that piece of paper or where it's, it might be as well for some of you that maybe you're not signing the contract. Maybe you're facilitating or um, observing the signing of a contract. So you might be assisting somebody else in something that they're doing, but it has a very contractual nature to it. For your actions and options this week, you have the moon card, right? So you could be very feeling very pensive this week and you might be, I don't know, I'm going to be honest. I kind of feel like this would be, this might be a week where you're feeling a little bit confused um, and maybe not necessarily confused uh, about your own life, but maybe a, a bit confused about uh, where the, the overlap is with other people. So this could be about what it is that you want, what it is that you need. Um, you you know, this week, it, I don't think you're necessarily going to be spinning out, but it could be a week where a lot is kind of drawn up in your mind and you're like, mm, you know what, I just don't really know which way to go with this. Um, it feels, if I'm completely honest with you, it feels like maybe this week you're going to realise that one, one path that you started down or started moving towards maybe actually isn't for you um you know so it could see you kind of in this uh, you know am i in or am i out kind of energy for your communications and conversations you have the four of pentacles so this contract or this uh, agreement that comes up could have something to do with money finances or to do with a home and it might see you kind of like at, not at odds but it might see you kind of considering okay what is it that I want? What is it that I actually need? And more importantly, is this the right thing for, you know, is this the thing that's actually going to get me what I want? So uh, if you're thinking about maybe borrowing or loaning money of some sort, this would be a week where it's an absolute no. Um, just because you're not thinking as clear as you usually do, wait for the eclipse to pass. The eclipse happens on the 30th. So, you know, as you get into the latter end of the week, I think then you, you'll have a bit more sort of clarity, but certainly around that time, if there is anything coming up of that nature, it's a no from me. For your money and materials, you've got the page of swords. So for some of you, it does look like there is either an, um, what's the word there's either an interview or a meeting coming up and again this whole thing with the contract is definitely evident now what has also come up here as well the page of swords coupled with the justice card that literally represents the time of libra so we're talking about late september going into early um early october if you want to learn more about time sequences in tarot Hit the link in the description box and get your uh you get your space on my course right we'll be talking about that and so much more when it comes to reading tower so if you want to be a part of it get that uh for your physical health and vitality um this might be a week where some of you could be in danger of losing your voice so just something that you need to be aware of all right think about the the way that you use your voice and think about what you need to do and what you need to say uh, and if there is something that you're not saying you know sometimes that's one of the reasons that we can lose our voice too uh, when it comes to your home and environment i think there's a big change on the horizon for a lot of you i've been talking about this for capricorns for a while um, and there were four signs in particular Aquarius, Capricorn, uh, Leo, and um, 
I can't remember what the other one was, but there's four signs that this message has just been repeatedly coming up. So there is a change coming up somewhere uh, for you guys on the home front. And then for your love and relations, you have the Knight of Pentacles. This for me is a very Capricornian card. So when it comes to relationships, for those of you that are in partnerships or relationships, you are very invested. Right, I don't see any problems or issues with the relationship at all. Uh, when it comes to the finances, maybe there is something that's being considered here. Uh, maybe there's a path that you or a partner wants to take and you're not entirely sure about how to go about that. Maybe it's kind of like, oh, you know, if I do this, it's gonna rock the security boat. Well, you have to ask yourself, is the long-term goal or plan uh, worth that small bit of uncomfort that you're going to feel in the here and now. You know, if, it, if it's about that longer term goal, you can suffer a little bit of uncomfort or insecurity at this moment in time. You know, you, you, you're going to have to, and this is why I say, you know, you could be a little bit confused this week, but you are going to have to make a choice. You can't have it all at this moment in time. You, you know, you, <laughs> that's just, that's just kind of the way that it is. When it comes to your, um, for those of you that are single, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely a potential to meet someone this week. But the funny thing is, this will be somebody that you meet at work or through work. Uh, it's not going to be somebody that you um, that you already know. Do you know what I mean? It could be somebody that you meet on the commute to work, or if you're working from home, maybe it's something somebody that is introduced to you. There is a mutual attraction that is found it within or around the professional sphere for a lot of you this week. Um, now, what I will say to you as well. This is a week where you need to really check in with yourself. What do you want, need, desire at that sort of deeper level? It's a week for you to really ask yourself. And, you know, because you've got that moon card in your actions and options, you might be feeling a little bit more unsettled or a bit more unfocused than you usually are. And if that is the case, it's just a, you're going to have to sit with it. Right, but this is a time to really define or redefine what it is that you actually want and what that longer term goal actually is or looks like. It's only by really defining it and sort of pinning it down this week that you're going to be able to make some of these bigger decisions. Um, you know, and yeah, it's going to be, yeah, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care, and I'll see you soon.